it on to the... Of course, the, the instrument's called an American instrument. It came on the slave ships. And uh, gourds, probably, and I think... I was talking to Andrew yesterday, and his studies in Africa, he still sees people playing gourd versions of the banjo there to make them in some of his uh, travels. I'm walking down that underground room I got this banjo on my back I stopped near the town of Lincoln By a run-down railroad shack And there stands Johnny Reardon His door was open wide He's gonna share the stew he's got cooking Just to hear my banjo slide My name is Lazarus, and I'm following a polar star. Well, I ain't going back to Richmond. I've traveled too damn far. Johnny tells me about his friend. He would help me if he could. He passes by here now and then. He's got a cabin in the woods. I think you know about that. Johnny takes down his Irish harp. And he plays the song to boot. Somebody's tapping on the cabin door and he's whistling with his flute. Well, the man's name is Henry. Some folks claim that he's insane. He lives all day on nature's door. But in that there ain't no blame. In that there ain't no shame. Now it's Johnny's turn to speak. And he stops to stir the stew. He makes pennies on the Fitchburg line. And he works the whole day through. So we're singing songs of freedom. Immigrant, Yankee, and a slave. We travel by the dead of night. And Northern Lights will show us the way. Well, I ain't going back. No, 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 I ain't even looking back. I can't believe I just said that. Well, I said my name is Lazarus. And I'm following the polar star. They say men are free in Canada. I get that far. Thank you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Maybe take scroll. Joanna, Joanna brought up some, oh. uh, an actual specimen here. So. It's a. Uh, it's not. It's a full. Uh, it may not. It's not. But it's very, giant. very close. Is that the one we, we had the other day from the walk? Oh, you brought it back to life. <laughs> It was on the walk with, with Donald that morning in the rain. Coincidental. There is such a thing as coincidence. And uh, let, I was just about to step on it, Leslie picked it up. And I had it in my hat brim for a while, and then it fell off at one of the lectures. Joanna found it, and uh, she, give, you can come up and see it. Now, I'm not sure if it's a uh, Liberia, but it certainly is a, a folios lichen. Otherwise, or. It's, they're so complex, it may be more than one thing going on. Um, but it's so great to see a specimen, especially one that was saved from the footpath. That's still actually living right now, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right up there. Any questions for, any more questions? Oh, okay. Well, he wants to talk about this experience I've had. I'll let Leslie do this one. I don't know if it ties in, but it's been great being at this gathering. It's just opened our eyes completely and because all this work has been very close focused work hunched over a computer a lot of the time 
you know, getting a lot of the synchronous experience still that I'm talking about, but, but being here with everybody and all their great presentations and just even get, touching down in town the first day was like things were happening that were amazing. And uh, so a day or so ago, I had a rare moment where I was in a meditative, almost, I would say, hypnagogic state. And I've never been in one, but that's what I would call it. And uh, just very relaxed and not asleep. And there was a, I was wondering how this presentation was going to fit in and how, how it all was going to come together. And uh, there was, I saw behind my eyes like a scrolling of script, like, oh, like this dark sepia script, like handwritten on sepia brown pages. And it just kept scrolling. And I was trying to see the words, although I wasn't frantic about it, trying to pick out a word or two. And the two words I was able to pick out were different, take. And so, okay, well, everybody has a different take on Thoreau and how they come to know him through different methods. And, you know, this is, we're going to do a different take. It's going to be different. And uh, as well as everyone's, everyone's is very. And so then I began to relax about it. That was a gift, a real gift. Thanks, Leslie.